Good morning, it's Tuesday the 10th of November and you're listening to the Deadline Press Agency Roundup of what's in the Scottish papers today. I'm Oliver Faramond. And I'm Rory Reynolds. Let's start with the Daily Telegraph. I'm on the front page of the Telegraph, a follow-up from a story that was on the front page of the Scotsman yesterday. And pressure is building on the SNP um, to back the Schools Trust Plan, um, which an SNP-led council in East Lothian um, have been looking at. This is where they set up arm's-length trusts to run schools rather than, uh, than local authorities. Just to add, the uh, Conservative Party in Scotland are backing the proposals, uh, but the SNP are insisting that this is not similar to the way trusts are run south of the border. Liz Smith, a Tory school spokesman, said that the SNP needed to break away from their obsession with local authority control and that the only person standing in the way is hapless Hislop, um, as they've started calling her. On page 15 of the Telegraph, news concerning the run-up um, to the Glasgow North East by-election. Labour leading in the polls and former BBC journalist Dave Kerr um, saying that um, Labour looking cocky and that he thinks he can exploit that. And also leader of the British National Party, Nick Griffin, paid a visit to Springburn Shopping Centre and um, he was heckled but also um, did receive hoots of support from passing cars. Um, Alan Johnson, the Home Secretary, accused him of exploiting racial tensions in the area, which has a high number of migrants. The British government Chancellor Alastair Darling wading as well on page two of the record um, saying that the uh, Glasgow North East by-election is a fight for the future of the city. Um, he was in Glasgow campaigning with the uh, Labour candidate Willie Bain. Um, elsewhere in the Daily Record on page nine, a Fred Goodwin sighting um, at Edinburgh Hotel, the Preston Field. Um, he went to a charity dinner and watched an ABBA tribute band perform It's a Rich Man's World. That's right. Um, he was seen to be enjoying the Faba Girls, a ABBA tribute band, as he uh, tucked into vintage red wine smoked salmon and uh, braised beef. The Daily Record devoting a two-page spread over pages 10 and 11 um, to the 20th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. Angela Merkel, who grew up in the uh, former communist bloc of Germany, um, made the symbolic crossing from east to west with a former Soviet leader, uh, Mikhail Gorbachev. And the record just have a, a sidebar here about an interesting row that's broken out in France. Um, aides to uh, Nicolas Sarkozy, the French president, put photos of, uh, that looked like him on Facebook uh, showing him hacking away at the Berlin Wall in 1989. But records have shown Sarko- Sarkozy was in Paris that night. But uh, unusually, the, the French aides are sticking by the story. On the front page of the Daily Star of Scotland today, um, Katie Price, X Factor, and the uh, Story Z, Story Z today being the uh, lottery winnings in Liverpool. And moving into the Star on page 21, an update on the activities of Miss Scotland Catherine Brown. It's the Miss World competition next month in Johannesburg, and she's hopeful. There's never been a Scottish Miss World before, and um, she's got Andy Murray's backing. On the front page of the Voice of New Scotland, the Scottish Daily Express, is that lottery story. Basically what's happened is a group of call centre workers and a Welsh married couple shared a £90 million record jackpot. Um, Eight of the winners were part of a sort of lottery syndicate working in a call centre and arrived at work yesterday morning to find that they've won at least £5.5 million each. Uh, BT call centre workers showed up to work not knowing that they'd won uh, the jackpot lottery. And there's a familiar picture here in several of the papers today with uh, one uh, worker uh, giving the thumbs up sign and he's uh, written I'm minted and uh, pressed it against the, the window of his office. And from a link on that first page to page 10, middle class shoplifters is a, a new phenomenon um, troubling Britain's high streets. Well dressed crooks are lifting lingerie, seafood, smoked salmon and speciality meals. Shoplifting is at an all time high according to the global retail theft barometer. Uh, the past 12 months have seen the figure of thefts rise by uh, three quarters of a billion pounds. A security expert from uh, Checkpoint Systems has uh, noted that uh, the middle class shoplifters um, are stealing to sustain their current standard of living rather than for cash. And they've just noted a couple more on here. Champagne, vodka, single malt whiskey, cosmetics, face creams and perfumes are among the the favourites. A story from the Scotsman's Health correspondent Lindsay Moss uh, on their front page. Um, a deal has been struck between NHS Scotland and pharmaceutical companies, uh, meaning that patients who need life-saving treatment uh, will more likely to be able to uh, get the drugs that they need. Campaigners have been seeking this uh, arrangement uh, for the last two years since it was first introduced in England and Wales, and that it's expected to save the NHS tens of thousands of pounds. And the story that follows on from uh, Britain's only polar bear moving from Edinburgh Zoo to the uh, Highland Wildlife Park, uh, Mercedes uh, seems to be settling in well. Uh, and the news line here is that um, she will not be the last polar bear to be uh, bred in uh, Britain. After she dies, um, she will be replaced and um, they will try and encourage a new breeding pair up to the park. The row over um, Simon Cowell's decision to keep uh, Jedward in X Factor has uh, dominated the front page of the Scottish Daily Mirror today. They're calling it an X Rage. Uh, they've noted that there's uh, 3,000 uh, people have complained to ITV. 
they've also said that uh, a number of fans have complained to uh, Ofcom, the TV watchdog, and uh, Kel has uh, d defended his decision to keep the duo in the uh, TV show. Front page of the Scottish Sun today, and the, uh, they've inflamed the uh, brown Jane's row. Uh, this is over the uh, Prime Minister's letter to the bereaved mother of uh, a brave young soldier. He uh, spelt her name wrong and made uh, several other mistakes. But the story today is that um, he, he uh, called up uh, Mrs. Jane's and had a 13-minute conversation sorting out the matter. However, the Sun have uh, taped the entire conversation and printed the whole dialogue in uh, page 6 of the paper. Uh, a bit of an argument broke out um, over the phone um, between uh, Jamie Jane's uh, mother, Jackie, and uh, the Prime Minister himself. And she certainly seems to know her stuff here, saying that uh, the Chinooks needed more armour plate plating, that they weren't up to Mark III standards, and uh, it seems that she knows more about this than the Prime Minister at some point. Um, very interesting idea for a story. To say that this is an interesting idea for a story is something of an understatement. What they've done is they've, uh, for all of Gordon Brown's sections, they've actually kept in all of his sort of stammers and uh, where, where he stutters and says, uh, none of these things are in her sections and they're definitely trying to sort of create an impression of the Prime Minister here. It's very effective. It does show him to be quite bumbling and uh, hesitant throughout the conversation. On page 15 of the Scottish Sun today, a story by one of our colleagues, Paul Thornton, an exclusive here that uh, a sex offender assaulted a young boy after he was granted uh, a licence by the council to trade as an ice cream van man. And the Sun have also made this their, their top leader as well, um, saying that it's shameful that uh, he should be allowed to get his licence uh, given his background. Just a quick look at the Times on page 16 and 17, they've contrasted uh, Gordon Brown's letter to, letter to Jackie Jane's with that of the American president uh, Lincoln. He, uh, his famous eloquent letter to uh, Lydia Bixby, whose uh, five sons were killed in battle serving their country, contrasts sharply with Gordon Brown's uh, felt tip pen scrawled on some uh, Downing Street paper. And just a quick look at page three of the Herald today. Uh, this is an article over the debate over which song to use at the Delhi Commonwealth Olympics. Uh, there's the current one, Flower of Scotland, the famous Scotland the Brave, the bagpipe classic Loch Lomond, and uh, Highland Cathedral. Um, the tune will be chosen by an X Factor star panel of dignitaries and athletes um, between the four anthems. And finally, on page four, Scotland's whisky industry is uh, drafting uh, the plans for an assertive and populist fight back against the SNP plans for minimum pricing. Uh, elite copy of the Scottish Whisky Association's uh, plans show their offensive to ensure that uh, the Scottish whisky industry is not affected by uh, current government proposals. And that's all from uh, Deadline Press Agency's run through of today's papers. Uh, thank you for joining us. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning. <laughs>